Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Today we'll be testing AVG's latest installment, that is AVG Free Antivirus 2016, which comes with AVG Zen Management Module. So before we get into the actual product review, there is something I need to talk about and that is AVG's new privacy policy. Unless you haven't heard about it already, you should be uh, well informed that AVG makes it absolutely clear that they are going to collect browsing and search history data, which they think is non-personal, but your thoughts could vary, and they are going to sell it to third parties to make money and basically keep their software free. So they're just blatantly stating it in the open that um, they're going to sell your data to make money. That's just how they're going to work. And if you're fine with that, you should use their products. If you're not, you probably shouldn't have uh, AVG running on your system. Anyway, um, that aside, let's get started. But before that, I'd like to mention another quick note on the new installer. It actually has a pop-up saying that uh, you should safeguard your browsers by doing what? By adding AVG Secure Search as your home page and uh, setting your new tab page to some AVG search engine, I assume. So basically what they're saying is to be secure, you have to um, you know, use their search engine and their secure search or whatever as your home page so that they get kind of a kickback. Now I don't like the way this is worded. Safeguard your browsers. It seems like it's a security function, but what I think it is, is it's primarily just an advertising function to help support AVG. That should be mentioned as help support AVG by doing these things rather than safeguard your browsers. So let's see how, how nice is this uh, AVG secure search and how does it protect me? So let me search for something like PC security channel. And wow, Webroot. That's totally what I was looking for. And uh, McAfee. Hmm. And PC security devices. So as you can see, this is what happens. And here we have the actual search result that is the PC security channel. Now let's do the same search on Google. And there we have it. These are the correct relevant search results. Now what's happening here is uh, we are getting these search results, but before that, they are showing a ton of ads to make money. Now this is totally fine. If it is a free product, they want to uh, you know, make money by running ads or doing some kind of deals, I'm okay with that. But they should not advertise it as a security feature, especially as a must-have security feature in the way the pop-up just popped up. And any novice user would obviously click on that because they would think that it is necessary for them to be protected. But that is totally not the case. It just gives you a crappy search engine. That's, that's all it does for the most part. So I know I'm being a little aggressive here and um, I know a lot of other AVs do this kind of thing, but I'm really annoyed when these things are done kind of under the hood without making it clear to everybody. I mean, especially with this pop-up thing because I know most users are going to click on it without understanding what exactly it's going to do and then maybe they're going to search for something like this and end up opening something like this which is not where they want it to get to. And then they'll think there's something wrong with their computer when uh, AVG is what is supposed to prevent adware and spyware from being installed in the first place. So when antivirus products do this kind of thing, deceitful behavior, it really makes me feel bad. Privacy concerns aside, uh, let's get testing. So here are our malware links. Um, we're going to go through them one by one and let's see how good uh, AVG's new product is you know, on terms of security. I mean, let's see how well it does. So I'm going to make sure that it's up to date. And um, now that it is, let's go through these links. So 
So our first file, let's run it. I didn't get no alert from AVG, so let's proceed. Not sure what happened there. Let's run this file too. Hmm, it might have been moved or deleted, and this one is caught by AVG's real-time protection. That's good. Let's move on. Let's run this one too. Some of these malware files are pretty big, as you can see. A megabyte, that's pretty big for a malware file. Could be adware. Now, I, we do have detection of adware turned on, I think. Let's just make sure. We're in advanced settings. We have computer protection, antivirus, and uh, it does report potentially unwanted applications. Let's enable report enhanced set of potentially unwanted applications just so that we make sure it gets everything. And um, let's do that for the scan as well. All right, now we'll go ahead and run this file. No alert from AVG so far. There we go. This is their identity protection or their behavior blocker and uh, caught this one. So that's good. Zero day component in action. This one appears to be dead. It was alive a few moments ago, but maybe not anymore. So let's try the next file. and it's blocked. Let's proceed. USB.exe, wow, that's neat. And once again caught by these signatures. So far I've seen a couple of files run that I haven't received any alert for, but I'm not seeing any kind of malicious behavior. Maybe they're doing something in the background that I'm unaware of. We'll find out. I do see some processes here. This one was blocked though. Three more links to go. Hmm. Looks like this one has been taken down too. This is caught Trojan Horse Downloader 64.exe. And this one's pretty revealing name, backdoor.exe. Wow. Now these guys are being more honest than AVG's uh, you know that search engine thing. They're telling you, we're giving you a backdoor. Want it? Go for it. Anyway, that's the end of the link test. Um, that's not good. Something's definitely going on because I do see these process still running. But who am I to say whether the system is infected or not? So I'm going to run our usual second opinion scanners and I'll be back with the results. Malwarebytes um, didn't find any threats on the system, but Hitman Pro did say this file was suspicious. It was active at the time, but now it seems to have terminated. Now I'm unaware if any damage has been done or not. Maybe really hard to find out. I'm not really sure. Could be nothing. Could be a rootkit that's hiding in there. It's really hard to say. So I guess it's a okay result by AVG. Not a clean sheet. I wouldn't call this a clean sheet, but because we did see a couple of files run and uh, I am seeing this thing is reported by Hitman Pro so I'm not gonna call it a clean sheet but probably not a horrible result we still have an operational system 
and I'm not having any real issues using it. So let's proceed with the test. I have disabled AFG so that we can grab our malicious samples. We have got 1,000 pieces of malware this time. They're all from today and yesterday. So we'll do our usual right-click scan and let's see how many AFG can detect and remove. It's detection ratio test time. The AVG scan seems to have been uh, speeded up a little. It was a little bit faster than usual, but the real problem is the removal. Most of the times, uh, the removal takes almost half an hour, maybe 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Let's see how long it takes this time. Maybe they've made some improvements there. Well, you know what? I almost fell asleep. Anyway, the removal process is complete. I guess some things never change. Um, the user interface is still the same, and the removal still takes, well, maybe I was wrong about the half an hour thing. It took almost an hour for a thousand files. But, um, well, I can't complain about that. Maybe they disinfect stuff, I'm not really sure, but they don't really give me any other options, so I don't have any choice. So, please don't complain that, hey, AVG may have disinfected stuff. You know what? Um, if it has disinfected stuff, it won't run in the next part of the test. So, that's how we'll know. And uh, that way, we won't count it against AVG, but just for the detection ratio I'm going to take this number and um, that's going to be eighty three point one percent which is not too bad, not too great, it's around average and uh, that's pretty much where AVG has been so now let's re-enable all of their shields. And now that everything's turned on, we can go ahead and run these files and see if AVG zero day components can prevent them from infecting the system. So far, I haven't received any notification. Not sure how many of these files we have in memory, but we surely do have some things. Go ahead and close out Hitman Pro. Let's keep going. Maybe, you know what, maybe AVG did disinfect some of these files because quite a few of them are not running. I didn't see any alert, but I'm not seeing any damage being done either. We do have some process in memory now, though. Nothing from IDP so far. Finally, here's an IDP detection. Go 
I'm not sure what happened to the warning it seems to terminate by itself. We're almost done here, a few more files and then we can finally check for infections on the system. Of course before that I'm going to let the system run for a while and uh, also run CCleaner. I guess that'll do. We do have uh, quite a few process in memory. So I'm going to let the system run for a while and then uh, I'll run CCleaner, go through the usual routine and we'll see the results from our second opinion scanners. Alright, so let's go through the scan results real quick. Hitman Pro didn't identify anything else apart from uh, this worm that's still stuck in the malware folder. However, I don't see any other replicas detected anywhere, so I wouldn't worry too much. And uh, the only threat, uh, well, Stinger didn't detect anything, and the only threat Zamana and uh, malware bytes have found out apart from the one by Hitman Pro are the search engine modifications or your browser modifications by AVG itself. So it is funny that some of these products are actually detecting it as a hijacked start page. That's interesting. AVG haven't um, sorted this out. So not a bad result. Um, it did okay. In fact, it did pretty well. The detection ratio was okay. The link test went fine. We did see some files go in here and there, but as in, uh, what matters is the end result, and um, we don't have any major system infections. So good job, AVG. Although I will appreciate it much less thanks to their new additions and. Uh, you know, a little bit of dishonesty here and there. Feel free to comment below what are your thoughts on this product. What do you think about AVG's privacy policy? Would you be fine with uh, using a product like this? Let me know what your thoughts are and uh, please leave a like if you did and subscribe to the PC Security Channel for more. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.